Everyone sucks to suck. Don't worry, I practice jujitsu with them. No, guys, she comes to us every time. She's been asking me, and I want to mix it up and really confuse them to make sure that they're really good in the. Everybody and welcome back to the coolest dog training channel right here on YouTube. I'm Tom Davis, America's canine educator. Today, I'm gonna give you three crucial tips you didn't know you needed on teaching the stay command to your dog. You guys wanna win some free No Bad Dogs merch? Well, good, because we're about to play the Space Bar Challenge. It's a new game that's gonna pop up in a lot of my videos. When I say go, all you have to do is hit your space bar, then like this video, and leave a comment on where you're from. Ready, set, go. Go. I'm going to randomly select two winners 24 hours after this video is posted to win some free No Bad Dog merch. Good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome back to our channel, Olga, the extremely enthusiastic, dog-loving, never listening to me dog owner, Olga. Olga, thank you so much for jumping back onto the channel to demonstrate exactly what not to do. I really appreciate it. Oh, no problem, Tom. Thanks for having me back on. I can't wait to teach everybody what to do right with their dog. Crucial tip number one. So I'm gonna show you how to incrementally get your sit stay to where it needs to be to be successful. I'm Olga and I love dogs. Today, Lakota's never done stay before and I'm gonna show you how to do it. If you want do this. Good dad, no, good job now. Stay, 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 stay. So don't do that. What I like to do is teach the dog the place command first before I do the stay. Tell the dog to place, hot go to your touch. Sit, good. So if the dog sits or downs, that doesn't matter. Simply tell the dog to stay, use my hand command, and make my body a wall. Hawk, stay. Now notice that the dog is still on the leash. Just like Olga didn't do, this is the first step before you can let go of the leash. Start with the basics. Start in with a little bit of body movement back and forth. I call it crab stepping back and forth. We're gonna take this space from you and the dog. I would recommend at least a four to six foot leash. Nothing less, nothing more. You're gonna sidestep to the left. Then you can use positive reinforcement. Good stay. To the right, good stay. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the dog, reward them, and then break. Good. Yeah, crazy thingy. Don't worry, I practice jujitsu with them. Oh, oh. oh No, no, he got the jackpot. Tip number two. Too many times dog owners try to introduce really basic stuff in a really high distracted area. <laughs> Obviously then causes a lot of frustration for you and your dog. It's like wanting to learn how to ride a bike and then entering the Tour de France the very next week. You have to start small in order to be successful. Here's an example from our friend Olga to show you guys what not to do. My dog's never met my boyfriend Jose before. This should be great training. What do you think, Jose? Let me plan a date night. <laughs> okay, let's go. You think that this is good training? How about you say hello to my new friend Jose? Lakota, it's just Jose, what are you doing? So what you wanna do is maybe add in a little bit of distraction at a time. Maybe a tennis ball, on leash, a toy, on leash, food, on leash, other dogs, on leash, and incrementally get better. Don't just dive from zero to 100. It's gonna be very difficult for you to be successful. So some examples of what you guys can start doing to start getting into those heavier distractions is start adding them in simply on the leash. Here we go, baby, let's do this. If you want other dogs around, keep your dog on a leash from a nice distance to start that process. Get a ball out, on leash, throw the ball, good stay, and then release your dog, a toy, Anything that you can slowly start to integrate into your dog to paint them the big picture of what you want. Tip number three is something so many people do, which is recalling your dog after working on the stay. This is a big no-no because you create a lot of anticipatory behavior where the dog is constantly judging where you're at, what you're doing, what your voice says. What I like to tell people is go and reinforce the behavior when they're in that position. When they're in the stay, go and reward them in the stay and break them from there. Don't create that constant, am I coming, am I not, am I coming or not? Yeah, did she say it yet? She's about to say it, she's almost there. Did she say it yet? I think she's about to say it, let's go. 
This is the exact behavior we're trying to get away from. We're trying to teach the dog, we want you to stay there. You can certainly recall your dog from the stay, but it's really crucial to not do it when you're teaching the stay because you'll create that really bad habit of the dog constantly trying to get to you next. Huh? You licked my glasses. Let's do this instead. Here we go. Stay. Good stay. He'll be back. He always comes back. Don't worry. All we do is just sit here. No, we don't go to him. He he comes he comes back to us. Just trust me. Just sit here and deal your hand and chill. Good hand, Hawk. All right, read him and weep, boys. Hey, Hot Rod, thanks for ruining the video. Too many times. Oh, a little bit of feedback there. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. It was a lot of fun to make. I hope it distracted you and gave you entertainment during this time. If you haven't yet, like this video, subscribe to my channel. And if you like content like this and you want me to do more of it, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for Olga coming on board and helping us during this skit. Thank you guys so much. I will talk to you next time. Peace. Um, he thinks I'm a big stuffed animal. What are you doing? It's not yours. Stop. Hey. Oh. Well, come on. Don't you? Well, it's just Jose. Look, he loves dogs. He watched the dog whisperer with me. This training isn't going as I expected. This sucks. What do you think, Jose? Tell me about your day. Okay. With the closets, careful with them cars. Need a shit forever, but I never ever stop until they put me in the coffin or they off me. Fuck niggas quick to auction, they false prey. Always with the shit with the caution, with the ten toes down for the dogs. You can see the paw print. Searching for the answers in the bottom and the last strip to the handle. The beginning of the candle, do a shit to myself, give me fears when I'm looking in the mirror. I'm seeing somebody else, yeah. Me call the song as I'm asleep, sure.